The late junior Seau had his number 55 retired by the Chargers last month, but before junior, there was another Bolts legend who wore 55 and died before his time. Sports Extra Steve Smith crosses generations to tell us about the Chargers Hall of Famer many have forgotten. This is a story about a grandson, Frank Buncom IV, a defensive back at St. Augustine High School, and the grandfather he never had the chance to meet, and that would be the former Charger, Frank Buncom. I know my grandfather played for the Chargers, and I knew that I would, I'd never get to meet him because he passed away when my father was six weeks old. I knew my dream, I always wanted to play for football. I always wanted to go to the NFL, it didn't matter if I went to the Chargers anywhere. I just wanted to play the NFL and wear his name on my back. And while he never got the chance to see his grandfather play, Frank Buncom IV has seen pictures, he's also heard the stories. Some provided by Chargers historian as well as author Todd Tobias. And it's a pretty big collection of back him on articles on him since high school. 1968 with the Bengals. Oh, I've never, I never seen the Bengals card before. He was a, from my understanding, he was a fierce outside linebacker. Though, well, back in those days, um, everybody wasn't as big as now, so he was about 6'2". Ooh, he was about the size as my dad. Frank Buncombe, the Charger, played six years in San Diego from 1962 to 1967, but tragically died in his sleep in 1969. And I've always, I've always heard the story, and my dad told me what, the heard the story that he heard that he passed away in the hotel bedroom with a smile on his face when yeah. they came in again. Yeah, yeah. With, with Ernie Wright right next yes. to him. However, his number and his name live on in the Chargers Ring of Fame. It just seemed like a blessing and people, they would go to the Chargers game and always ask me if that was my father and I'd say no, it's my grandfather and they would like Google him and stuff and I, I thought it was, always thought it was really awesome. Asked what he admires most about his grandfather, Frank says it's nothing that he did on the football field. His admiration was for the kind of man his grandfather was off the field. Off-season plan for the Chargers, he was an Air Force um, fire marshal, and he did that. Then he also taught at, a, a, I believe it was an elementary school as well during the off-season, so he did a lot of things for kids. Now, a couple of Charger legends have worn the number 55, but when you ask Frank Buncom IV who he thinks of when he sees the number, well, that one's easy. I'm, I'm thinking Frank, Frank James Buncom II, obviously. Junior Seattle was a was a great player at 55 was more before him by another great player as my grandpa. From St. Augustine High School, Steve Smith for Sports Extra.